I want to show you a quick little tension test that you can do on any sewing machine. But today we are working on the Foff Quilt Ambition 630. So if you've ever been sewing along and you hear just a horrible grumbling sound coming from your needle and bobbin area, you will find that when you lift it up, your stitches probably look okay, but as you pull it out, you realize you have a ginormous mess on the back. Some people call it a bird's nest. It just looks awful. And this is like, oh my gosh, this is a tension problem. And then I'm like, but wait, is it a tension problem or is this an operator error issue? And it's actually the second. So when you thread the machine, I'm gonna show you a little trick for that. I'm gonna show you a quick little test. So right now the presser foot is up and the thread should be fairly easy to pull through the needle. Okay, now if and when the presser foot goes down, that actually should be tight. Now see how it's nice and loose? And the reason for it is because I have not threaded down through the tension discs correctly. So I either threaded the whole machine with the foot down, which is when the discs are closed on the thread, so it never got in the discs, or I just didn't get it in here right. So this is how I want you to do it. When you're threading a machine, have your presser foot up, and when you're holding the thread at the top here and you're coming down this first groove, I'll usually come up and then I'll do a little flossing action. And what that does is it sinks the thread deep and up into that first little groove. Now do make sure you catch it in the take up lever. That can also cause some horrible sounds coming from your sewing machine. But this is what we're looking at. You rethread the machine because because now you're mad. So you rethread the machine with purpose and it gets all the way in. So now the foot is up, the thread's loose-ish, and the foot goes down and the thread is tight. This is my tension test. If it's tight, it's gonna have it's sew perfectly. And if you watch right in here, you're gonna see a slight reflection as I lift and lower the presser foot. So as we lift it up, you see there's kind of something that opens, and when you close it, there's a little bit that squeezes on the thread. So that's why it's so important to thread with that presser foot up, thread with a little purpose down through this area here. Trust me, so many times people hate sewing because they're they're the ones not threading the machine correctly. So don't blame it on the tension and don't blame your machine. Just re-thread it, check the bobbin, make sure it's in the little groove down here. It should be sitting across the top of your bobbin after you've done a little sewing. And then you should have no problem whatsoever when you go to sew again.